hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning back in for another video so i'm just gonna hop straight into it so today we have a um black freestyle i just randomly did some stuff on this nail set I decided to do my nails today because y'all I got tired of looking at my nails looking all crusty and dusty and everything so as you can see I've already um prepped my nails off camera well I'm not gonna say prep but I've already like applied the nail tips and um cut them to my desired length and dehydrated my nail bed off camera so I'm not doing the pop-off method today. I'm actually doing my nails the regular way today. Because when I use the pop-off method, I just normally do the pop-off method when I know I'm going to pop my nails off after the video. But I'm not popping these nails off. So I'm actually doing both hands today. But I'm only going to film one. But as you can see, I am um, going in with my Young Nails Protein Bun. After I've already dehydrated my nails, I'm just applying this to my nail bed to prevent any lifting. And so my nails can stay on a little longer. This is how I would normally prep my nails if I was doing them or doing a, a client's nail. So after I've, I have applied my Young Nails Protein Bun, I am going in with a thin layer of clear acrylic before I go in with my colors. So, y'all, I was supposed to been have had this video out. I recorded this video some days ago, like, and I'm just now I'm getting it out because y'all have had a crazy and terrible week. You guys know I have a story time for y'all, so my last video um that i had posted if you haven't checked that out go check that out below i will um post it in the description box below my last video that i posted um i think it was a it was a q a yeah q a nail tech edition so y'all speaking of my last video in my last video i was asked a question would i go do nails full time if i had to and y'all y'all would never believe what happened to me so i left my job and now I'm doing nails full time for the moment. But I didn't leave my job by choice. When I tell y'all, I had I've had a crazy experience at this job. Like when I tell you when, when I tell y'all this story, y'all gonna be like, oh my god, like what? Y'all, I don't know. I I don't I don't think I ever told y'all guys this, but I worked at a funeral home and I was a receptionist at a funeral home. And my boss, he's I'm not gonna put any names in this video, but or the name of where I worked, but um my boss, he is an older guy. Like, he's, like, in his 80s, and he kind of have a hard time remembering things. Like, he got, like, an Alzheimer's or whatever. But, y'all, this man, let me say, long story short, this man accused me of something I did not do. And it was not proven. Like, it was facts I didn't do it. Like, it was no way he could prove that I did this. But he was just so adamant that I did this thing that he accused me of doing we had no proof of it y'all and we had a verbal altercation we had a verbal dispute like a verbal altercation and y'all their verbal altercation quickly got physical like my boss hit me y'all like yes he hits me he hit me and i got the whole thing on camera the whole thing so yes i am handling handling that accordingly so i'm not going to speak on it too much because i am I am in the process of handling it, and I don't want to speak on it too much. But, y'all, I had a crazy week. So, uh, y'all, thank you for bearing with me. But I'm getting this video out now. But right now, I'm just going in with some um, with some pink new, a uh, pink new color from Mia Secret, and I'm just going in or putting it on my nail now. I really had no idea what I was gonna do with this seat. I was just going with the flow. So, and I, but I knew I wanted to do like black. So I'm doing this, I'm gonna create a French tip later on this nail. I'm gonna create a black French tip. So I'm going in with that and putting this on here. And like I said before in my previous videos, I have no, no really, I have really no bead method. I just go in with as many beads as I need, but I don't have that much nude acrylic. So, um, I'm just laying this down. I'm going to go back in with clear and make my apex. So, that's what I'm doing now, guys. And I will have everything that I'm using. I will link everything that I'm using down below in the, in the description box. And you can also find everything that I'm using in my Amazon storefront. So, how have you guys' week has been going? Comment below in the comment section. How have your week has been going? You know, how has your new year has been going? Because I tell you that my new year, ooh, as y'all, yeah, my new year, 
it's been new year in <laughs> my new year has been new year in like i um previously one of my videos i stated that my new year started out with drama like and now i'm still having drama but you know what i'm gonna give it all to god pray about it and keep it pushing because it's only january you know we got 11 more months so i can quickly turn things around and hopefully things get turned around quickly because it is not this year is not it for me as of right now <laughs> but anyways y'all i also would like to know what where more videos would you guys like to see from me i know um i had some um someone come in on my video and told me to do a day in my life so i might do that video next for y'all a day in the life of nail tech now since i am a full-time nail tech i can't do that because at first i was going to work and then coming home and doing nails so i can do that now since i'm a full-time nail tech at the moment i don't know how long i would be full-time I'm just probably just going to be full time until I can find another job, y'all, because doing, like I said in my um, Q&A video, doing nails is, is good, like it's good money, but it fluctuates. And, you know, when you have like, when you have bills, set bills, you know, you have to have the, 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 um, what, I'm, what am I trying to say? You have to have this steady income coming in because doing this is really not steady. Like I said before, one week you will be doing good, then the next week you will probably have one client, and the next week you will have no clients. Like it really, it really fluctuates. So you have to have more than one income if you're doing doing nails unless you were just like a celebrity nail artist or some stuff like that you know but hopefully the goal is to start doing nails for doing nails full time or getting a shop or however however that may go that is the goal so we're going to get there soon but yeah i'm just going in and placing my cuticle um my cuticle bead on my thumbnail and i kind of flooded the cuticle a little bit y'all it was kind of um it was kind of cold in my nail room so my acrylic was like running real bad and i know like from the side from the side profile um my nails do look thin and do look flat like they have no apex but i am going in later with clear and i'm going to cap the nail and build my apex with it with it clear also guys i want to say thank you guys we're at 159 subscribers and i appreciate y'all so much i know that it's a small number but you know it's, it's level to this so i'm really happy about having 150 subscribers because um i surpassed my goal because i told myself that i wanted to try to have 150 subscribers 150 subscribers by the end of january and i have 159 so i passed my goal woo -woo, shout out to y'all thank y'all so much i really appreciate y'all y'all showing me y'all showing me love i, I really appreciate that <laughs> But if you're new here and you're watching this video, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Go ahead and like and drop your name down below. Welcome, lovelies. And if you've been subscribed, what's up, gang? You know? <laughs> but anyways, I'm just finishing up putting this nude on. And I think, I'm not for sure, y'all. I'm just going to wait till I get to that part because I was finna say something, but I really can't remember. But um, I'm doing a cuticle bead on my pinky now, y'all. I have the hardest time doing cuticle beads i don't know why it's like i've been doing nails seven eight months now and i still kind of struggle on my cuticle application i clean it up but i want to get to the point where i don't have to clean up my cuticle application so much you know but i'm gonna get there you know i'm still learning and i'm still practicing i'm gonna get there and y'all don't talk about my brush too much but my brush that i was using before i ruined it y'all i ended up falling asleep i was letting my brush soak in the acetone because it had a bunch of acrylic buildup in it and um i was living it soaking the acetone and i fell asleep and forgot all about my brush and the acetone i woke up the next morning it was so cold in my nail room like the acetone had evaporated and my nail brush was like super super stiff and i tried to restore it and it was bristles everywhere y'all and i tell you i was so mad at myself because this is like the fourth fifth brush that i have bought and these brushes are not cheap these brushes are 30 dollars a piece like they are not cheap at all and i'm just like why do i keep messing up these brushes so i'm gonna have to start cleaning my brush immediately after i do nails and putting it back up because when i leave it to soak i forget come in here and watch tv and i forget all about it i've been and went to sleep and yeah and now it's time to buy another brush but this is just an old brush that i had 
previously that I had messed up. As you can kind of see, it has some acrylic buildup in it. I tried my best to clean it and get it out, but it still got like little pieces of acrylic that would not come out. So I'm just using this brush until I can order me another one. But right here on my ring finger, I just went in with some black because I'm going to make this nail an ombre nail. So I laid my black first and I'm going to come back in with the nude that I previously used and do it over top. And on this middle finger here, I am going in with black and I'm going in with a milky white and a clear and I'm just going to make some little like a little marble effect. Yeah, if y'all have any tips on how to create like a better marble with acrylic, like I can do good marble marbling with gel polish. But as far as with acrylic, I am still learning how to marble with acrylic, y'all. And it, it sometimes it gives me the blues, but I feel like I did good on this nail, you know, better than what I normally do because I could not marble at all. But yeah, I'm just marbling their white. I'm just marbling their white. And this is going to be like a marble ombre nail as well. So I'm just, you just see me doing that here. And I just keep going in like with white and with the black and try to make a little marble effect. But like I said, if you have any tips on how to do a better marble effect and a better French tip, y'all. Because when I tell y'all, I be struggling so hard trying to get my French tips to be even. Because I use, I, um, I dry my French tips on. I haven't been that great at cutting using the french tip cutter you know you know how people make the french tips with um acrylic i haven't been that great at that and so i've been drawing my french tips on with polish and y'all i've been struggling so hard trying to get the middle to be trying to get the middle to be um what is the word i'm looking for trying to get the middle to be even instead of being like a crooked french tip and i've seen this little thingy that i seen on tiktok like these little push thing you put your nail in to create the smile line for you and you just go in and draw the line so i might order i might order that and see if that can help me because yeah i really be struggling on these french tips then doing french tips on myself y'all that is the hardest thing to do when I, and this is the first time i have ever did like french tips on myself but i've never drawn fish french tips on myself unless i was doing my press ons and so doing french tips on myself was it was hard especially doing it on my non-dominant hand using my left hand to draw french tips on my right hand y'all when i tell you i was in here struggling and my french tips look a mess they look a mess like but you know i'm going to get there and right here as you can see i did flood the cuticle like i said it is kind of cold in my room so the acrylic was like very runny and i did pick up a watery bee and but we're gonna i'm just gonna go in and fix it and later later i'm gonna go in and just file all the excess off so that's what i'm doing now i just created my um i'm creating my umbra nail and i'm just going down and kind of blending it blending it into the black to make that umbra effect and i'm also gonna do that on my the other nail with the marble nail i'm gonna finish the marble up and then go in with new to make the umbra marble effect as well so if you would like to see the end result, stay tuned and keep on watching. I'm not going to talk too much, so I'm just going to let you guys watch and see the whole process.
So right here guys, I'm just going in with some gold little flakes and I'm just putting them on my marble nail and I'm going to encapsulate this with clear and I'm just placing them where I want them. I'm not using too big of flakes because I, I, I didn't want them to be that big. So I'm just using small little flakes. I'm just going to put them here and there at the marble nail and I'm just going to encapsulate and clear. And as you can guys can see, I am constantly wiping my sidewalls and I'm doing this so I can keep the shape so I won't have so much fouling later on when I get ready to foul the nails because when you put acrylic on, the um, acrylic can, um, re you, the, the acrylic can like bulk up and make the nail out of shape. So I'm just constantly wiping my sidewalls to keep that coffin shape. And y'all, my phone had died on me, so I I didn't, uh, I can't even talk. <laughs> my phone died on me, so I couldn't finish filming me capping my nails and clearing and building my apex, cause my phone died, and I didn't realize my phone had died until after I was done. So yeah, that's why I just jumped straight into fouling from applying the clear, I just jumped straight into fouling, but I did go in with my clear over all my nails and capped all of my nails.
Now I'm just taking my 5-in-1 drill bit that I got off of Amazon. It's a um, cuticle safety bit. And I'm just going in and around my cuticles and I'm sealing the cuticles and getting all of that um, cuticle overspill. Not cuticle overspill. What am I talking about? Um, acrylic overspill that kind of overspilled. And when I flood the cuticle a little bit, I'm just getting that up and cleaning that up and kind of debulking the nail with this as well. And I kind of got out of frame. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't be realizing I'm out of frame. I'm going to have to find a way to make sure that I'm in frame the whole video. I'm going to have to set my phone up or some type of way to make sure that I'm still in frame but that's just what i'm doing now and i'm just going in and i'm just going to do this to all of my nails and i'm just going in with my boyfriend i'm just buffing my nails and getting all the scratches out before i go in with my, any top coat or anything And I'm just taking this black that I ordered off Amazon. This is a Beatles Gels Polish um, in the color black. I can't think of the no number that's, I can't see the number that's on there, but it's black. And so I got this out of a pack off Amazon. It came in, um, it, was, it was two in a pack and it was black and a white. And they're both from Beatles Gel Polish. And I will link that in, my, in the description box below. And it will also be in my Amazon storefront as well. And I'm just getting my, um, my nail art brush, I got these nail art brushes off of Sheen that came in like a pack of three or so. And I just dipped my brush into some acetone to kind of, um, to kind of like clean it off a little bit because it was kind of stiff. So I just dipped my brush into some acetone. I'm just going in, dipping it into the black and finna make my smile line for my Frenchie. And like I said, y'all don't talk about me too much because this is my first time doing French shows on myself and baby they gave me a run for my money but bear with me and later i'm going to be doing like a croc design on this uh, french tip and i'm going to be putting in a jewel over the smile line so i didn't try to get my smile line too too perfect because i know that the jewel will be covering it up so but i tried the best of my ability y'all so like i said don't talk about me too much <laughs> And this is how my Frenchie is looking so far. So far, so good. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but it's kind of crooked. But I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and kind of fix that. And like I said before, the jewel that I'm putting on my nail will be covering up the smile line. So I didn't spend too much time on trying to fix it.
Okay, after I drew on my black Frenchies, I have cured my um, black gel polish and I went in over it with some gel top coat. And I'm just going in with my little dotting tool and making these little lines across the nail. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm just making some lines across the nail to make a little crock print. I got I'm gonna clean that up later I got black polish everywhere but this I'm just going in with some cuticle oil and then this is the finished look thank you guys for tuning in and watching I hope you enjoyed this video see you on the next one bye